Hello, I'm Dane, and this is Dane Explains. There's been so many big stories lately that many people missed an announcement that a group at City of Hope has discovered what very well might be a cure for cancer. They're calling it AOH 1996. It's currently in Phase 1 clinical trials, which is the early stage of human trials, only involving maybe 100 participants, and actually in this case, probably less than 10. There will be three more trials before the drug can be released to the public, which normally takes a few years. So, could it actually be a cure for cancer? And if so, how does it work? Let me explain. First off, what's with the weird name, huh? AOH 1996? Well, it's the initials and birth year of Anna Olivia Healy, a young girl who was unable to beat her fight with a cancer known as neuroblastoma. Her story inspired AOH 1996's discoverer, Dr. Linda Malkus, to search for an effective drug against cancer. Eventually, Dr. Malkus started to work at the treatment center known as City of Hope. I work for a company that makes cancer diagnostic equipment, and I've been to that facility many times. Although I've never had the pleasure of meeting Dr. Mulligus, I can attest that City of Hope is serious about cancer and are willing to adopt novel tests and treatments to that end, which is one of the reasons why Dr. Mulligus decided to work on this problem there. Now when this announcement came out, a lot of people compared this to the crystal structure of LK99 here on the left and what they thought was AOH 1996 on the right, saying that they both had six sides and hence that was a bad omen. Well, one issue with that is that's not AOH 1996. That's proliferating cell nuclear antigen. Try saying that three times fast. Or PCNA. It's actually the enzyme that's being targeted by AOH 1996. This is what AOH 1996 actually looks like. That's right just another molecule. This is my area of expertise and I'm very surprised that it was a drug that was found to be effective rather than some more complicated treatment like a biologic or something like that. So how does it work? Well that's where there could be one gotcha. AOH 1996 doesn't just outright kill cancer. It halts cancer growth. This usually results in cancer cells self-destructing in a process known as apoptosis. However, not all cancer cells will listen to that self-destruct signal. So in those cases where the cancer has also completely evaded your immune system, additional treatments may be required to get rid of the cancer while the drug prevents the cancer from progressing. How the drug works is it targets PCNA, which I mentioned earlier. PCNA is a critical enzyme needed during cell division, and uncontrolled cell division is what causes cancer. If you imagine enzymes are people, all with particular jobs, PCNA's job in cell division is to be the boss. Basically, it has to go and recruit all the other enzymes and organize them for cell division to happen. No recruitment or organizing means no cellular division. Now, that's all well and good. Stopping or slowing cell division has been a cancer treatment arsenal for quite some time. The issue is your healthy cells need to divide too. So, Drugs that slow cell growth have a negative impact on healthy cells that naturally replicate quickly, like skin cells. As it has it, PCNA seems to be mutated in all cancers to a form called CAPCNA. AOH 1996 only targets CAPCNA and not PCNA in regular healthy cells. Yes, I know, lots of acronyms, but try to keep up. It prevents cell division by making CAPCNA bind to RPB1, which is another enzyme needed in cell division, but it binds too well. Going back to the analogy of PCNA being the boss, AOH 1996 basically makes CAPCNA recruit RPB1 too aggressively. Not only does this mean that CAPCNA can't recruit more enzymes, this overly intimate pairing causes the cellular machinery to break the two enzymes up and, in the process, denaturing, aka killing, the RPB1 enzyme. And no RPB1 equals no cell deficiency and eventual cell death. Their studies found that this process does not seem to occur at all in healthy cells. So, 
High doses can be used without any ill effects on the patient. The current phase one trial hopes to find out how much of the drug humans can tolerate. If the trials go well, we may soon have a very powerful weapon in the fight against cancer. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please press the like button. Subscribe to my channel and ding the bell to get notified when I post new videos. Also, please support me on Patreon. Link in the description. The more people support me, the more time I can dedicate to making videos like this one. So, until next time, have a great week.